Hello and welcome to the second video in the adding and subtracting fractions series of videos. And in the previous video, we looked at adding and subtracting fractions where we had the same denominator. But notice now our denominator is different. So how do we go about adding these two fractions together? So you might be tempted to say, OK, well, two plus one is three. So it's three in the bottom and then possibly three plus six is nine. So three ninths. This is not correct. To understand the reason as to why this isn't the correct answer, let's just do a visual representation like I did in the previous video. But this time, let's start with one sixth. So here is my block. I've split it up into six different parts, and we're going to represent one sixth. So that is just one of these blocks. And now we're going to add on two thirds. So let's just represent what two thirds is, and I'm going to do that using another block. So here is another block, and this time I've split it up into three equal parts. And we're going to add on two thirds. So this is one third and this is another third. So that is two thirds. So we're going to add two thirds onto one third. Now, hopefully you can notice that one of these red boxes is exactly the same as two of these blue boxes. So one third is the same as two lots of one sixth. So instead of adding on this, I can break this up and I can add on one sixth. I can add on another sixth. Now I can do the same here. I can add on three sixths. I can add on four sixths. So instead of saying two thirds, I can say four sixths. So I can add on four of these sixths to my original number. Okay, and we started off with one sixth. We're adding on four sixths. So now we are left with five sixths. So two thirds plus one sixth is five sixths. And it's quite hard saying sixths all the time, but hopefully that makes sense. So let's do one more. Let's say we've got three eighths and we are subtracting one quarter. So have a go at this. So just like before, I'm going to set up two separate blocks to represent the information. So first of all, let's represent three eighths. So this block here I've split into eight different sections. So we've got one, two, three. And now let's represent one quarter on the other block. So here one quarter will be this here. And as you can see, one of these blue blocks is exactly the same as two of these red blocks. So I can just split these up into eights. OK, so one quarter is exactly the same as two eights. So if I'm starting off with three eights and I'm subtracting two eights, so I'm subtracting one eighth, subtracting two eights. Hopefully all you can see I'm left with is one eighth. So three eighths subtract one quarter is one eighth. Now I'm just going to go through these two examples again, but this time I'm not going to use the bars. I'm going to show you the method that we use to add and subtract fractions when we don't have the same denominator. Now, if we have a look at this first one here, at the moment we can't add these two fractions together because they do not have the same denominator. So let's convert two thirds into an equivalent fraction. So if we start off with two thirds, and I want that to a fraction where the denominator is six. So what do I do? Well, to go from three to six, I'm multiplying by two. So whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do exactly the same to the top. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by two as well. So two times two is four. So two thirds is equivalent to four sixths. And now I can add it to one sixth. So now I've got four sixths plus one sixth. And now we can just add the numerators together. That gives me five sixths. Let's do the same for the next one. So three eighths subtract one quarter. This time I'm going to convert one quarter to an equivalent fraction. So one quarter. Again, I want that out of eight as my denominator. And just like before, to go from four to eight, I'm multiplying by two. So I need to do the same to the numerator. One times two is two. So we know that one quarter is equivalent to two eighths. So now I can just do three eighths, subtract two eighths. And just like before, we subtract the numerators. That gives me one eighth. OK, so it's your turn now. So have a go at pausing the video and evaluating these four expressions. And for each of these four, you just need to change one of the fractions, smaller one, so that both fractions have the same denominator. OK, so for the first one, we're going to find an equivalent fraction to two fifths. So two fifths and the denominator needs to be 10. So what do we do to go from five to 10? 
Well, we multiply by 2. So we do the same to the numerator. 2 times 2 gives us 4. So 2 fifths is equivalent to 4 tenths. So now I can just write 3 tenths plus 4 tenths. And we just add the numerators together. 3 plus 4 is 7. So my answer is 7 tenths. We have a look at this next one here I'm going to change one fifth to an equivalent fraction so one fifth equals something out of 15 remember I need to get the same denominator as this fraction and this time to go from 5 to 15 I'm multiplying by 3 so I do the same to the numerator 1 times 3 is 3 so now we've got 3 fifteenths so it's going to be 7 fifteenths subtract 3 fifteenths and we just subtract our numerators 7 subtract 3 is 4, so my answer is 4 fifteenths. Okay, number 3. So I'm going to find an equivalent fraction to 2 fifths. So 2 fifths is it's going to be something over 20. So it looks like we are multiplying 4, but we're multiplying by 4. So let's do the same to the numerator. 2 times 4 is 8. So 2 fifths is exactly the same as 8 over 20. So we've got 7 over 20 plus 8 over 20, which gives us 15 over 20. And actually, with this one here, we can simplify a bit further um, because 15 and 20 are both divisible by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. So this would be our fully simplified answer. Now for the last one, I'm going to change 7 over 20. So that equals something over 100. And this time we are multiplying by 5. To go from 20 to 100, we times by 5. So let's do the same to the numerator. 7 times 5, that gives us 35. So we have got 39 over 100. Subtract 35 over 100. So let's just subtract the numerators. 39 subtract 35 is 4. So we have 4 over 100. So that's our answer. But just like before, we can simplify that slightly. So I can see that 4 and 100 are both divisible by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 100 divided by 4 is 25. So that would be my fully simplified answer. So just remember, we can only add or subtract fractions when the denominators are the same. So we just had to scale up one of the fractions in each scenario so that we had equivalent denominators and then we could add the fractions together. In the next video, which is going to be the third instalment of this series, we're going to continue looking at adding and subtracting fractions, but this time we're going to be scaling up both fractions. I'll see you soon.